For this video, I conducted an experiment with yeast nutrient. To do this, I used three major brand name nutrients and I separated them into four batches. Uh, one of them is a control batch, so it does not contain any yeast nutrient. Now I wanted to stress the yeast, and in order to do this, I put them in a harsh environment. Uh, it's just brown sugar and water. Uh, I boiled it to make sure nothing else was in there. Uh, the reason I use brown sugar is it's just what I had on hand. It's probably better to try this with table sugar. So with the yeast fermenting in this stressful environment, any off flavors are going to show how well the yeast nutrient has helped it along. So these have all had plenty of time to ferment. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm, I've got four cups here. And I'm going to write what each one is on the bottom of the cup. Uh, that way when I'm reviewing it, I give an honest interpretation of the flavors. I don't have anything already in my head that I might, you know, put in there. Um, it's what it is is what it is. And afterwards I'll check the bottom of the cups to collect my information and go off of there. So by far, this was the worst one. I would say this is the second to worst one. This was the second to the top, and this was number one. So this one was tart, but not too tart. I still wouldn't drink it. Maybe, maybe somebody who is really, really into tart ciders would drink this. But out of all these, this is definitely the best. This one was still tart. This one had a very buttery flavor. And this one was just absolutely disgusting. So let's find out what number one was. This was the Y yeast wine nutrient. Number two was the control, which is shocking because the control just means there was no nutrient. Number three was the White Lab Servomyces, which is just, uh, they come in these like little capsules. Uh, it's old yeast that still contain nutrients in it, uh, dead yeast that um, the living yeast kind of cannibalize and absorb those nutrients. Um, they also say they have uh, zinc in them, which uh, most nutrients don't normally have. Uh, and this one was the LD Carlson nutrient, which is again pretty shocking because watching the fermentation, uh, this one took off the fastest and it seemed to be going the strongest. So don't judge it just by how it looks when it's fermenting. This one is disgusting. <laughs> Not saying that, that any of these nutrients are bad, they're all good in their, their specific uses, but as far as just having the yeast be healthy when consuming nothing but raw sugar, the, what was it, the Y yeast, Y nutrient definitely helped the most. And something amazing here that you can't see is if we look at the colors, might be hard to pick up on camera but this one is definitely the darkest the uh, the gross one the second to nastiest one is a touch lighter the second to the top a touch lighter than that and the first one is the lightest so and I'm sure you can't see it on here but it definitely scales down ever so slightly. This one's definitely very, uh, very much darker. But yeah, so this one's our winner. All right, so at this point, you could be asking yourself, what does this mean? 
And honestly, it doesn't mean anything right now. In order for an experiment to work, it has to be done multiple times. So I'm leaving it up to you to go out and try this experiment. When you're doing it, record it, upload it to YouTube, link below in the comments, let us all know. So that way we can all tell what really is the best yeast nutrient. Until next time, this is DIY Homebrew Guy. Thanks for watching.